listen to a reading from the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. Fright Night. A lot of scary 
scary things happening. But I must say that personally, sometimes I love to scare. But I don't like to be scared. The question for this Sunday is, for each one of us, adults and children alike, the question is, what scares you? Let me tell you a story of five-year-old Johnny. And Johnny, he was in the kitchen helping his mommy prepare dinner, make supper. Well, here mommy asked Johnny to go into the pantry and to get her a can of tomato soup. But he didn't want to go in there alone. He told his mom, Mom, it's dark in there, and I'm scared. Mommy asked again, but little Johnny, he persisted. So finally, Mommy looked at Johnny and said, Honey, it's okay. Jesus will be in there with you. So here, Johnny, he walked over to the pantry. He slowly opened the door. He peeked inside. He saw that it was dark and started to leave. When suddenly, an idea came. He went back to the door. He looked into the pantry, into the dark, and he said, Jesus, if you're in there, would you hand me that can of tomato soup? <laughs> Once again, the question for this final Sunday in October is, what scares you? According to a recent Gallup poll answering the question, what scares Americans the most? Here are the top 10 answers in order. Number one, snakes. Number two, public speaking. Number three, heights. Number four, being closed in a small space. Number five, spiders. Number six, needles and getting shots. Number seven, mice. Number eight, flying in an airplane. Number nine, I don't get this one, dogs. <laughs> Number 10, thunder and lightning. The question is, what are you scared of? And I'm sure your list won't be the same as mine, but I'm sure together we can identify with some things. But one thing we know for sure, we all get scared. Every Friday afternoon, coming home from the seminary at 4, 4 o'clock with the traffic in Pittsburgh, Liberty Tunnel, Hospodi Pomiwi sometimes. We all get scared. We all have our personal fears because being scared my friends, being scared, having fear, is a basic human emotion. A basic human emotion. Julia? Fear is a basic human emotion. Now, in today's Gospel reading from St. Luke, here we have a scary situ situation. The healing of the so-called Garrison, Garrison demoniac. People living in that territory, in that countryside, they were terrified. They were terrified of this man. But in today's gospel reading, we learn a lesson. Christ teaches us how we are to face scary situations in life. How not to run away from fear. That's the lesson in today's Gospel reading. When you are facing a scary situation, remember to move from 
fear to faith. Move from fear to faith. There is your answer. Why faith? How does faith help me in scary situations? Thank you, Julia. Number one. Faith, my friends, that gift of faith that you and I have. Faith helps you and me face scary situations in life because faith focuses on God, not on your problems. Faith helps you first focus on God, not on your problems. Remember the Gospel reading from St. Matthew chapter 17, verse 20, where our Lord says that even faith the size of a mustard seed, and it's very small, faith the size of the mustard seed can help you move mountains. Now look back in life. How many mountains you have already conquered? All of us. How many mountains we, are, we have faced and some of you are facing right now? But have that faith. Pope St. John Paul II, at his installation mass in the Vatican, he cried out to the world, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Have faith and you will move mountains. And you have already. Look back in life. Number two, faith as a gift from God. Trust in God's timing, not your own. That can be a tough one. Because how often we want answers right here, right now. The society, the culture we're living in, beginning with fast food all the way through, we want everything right now with the click of a button. It can happen, yes. Sometimes we might even ask the question, where is God when I need Him? And sometimes it seems like we live in one time zone and God lives in another. Those are the thoughts that may cross our minds in today's world. But faith helps you and me trust in God's timing. Think about it, today's gospel reading. Does it tell us how long this man was living possessed by evil spirits? Oh no, there is no timing. It doesn't say he lived for, I don't know, an hour, a day, a year, or years. We don't know. But Jesus came to him and healed him. And then we see him sitting at the feet of Jesus. We don't know how long he was suffering. After Pascha, after Easter, we have the Gospel reading from St. John, where we learn about the man laying at the pool of Bethesda for how many years? 38 years. And no one helped him until Christ came and told him, lift up your mat and go, my friend. Jesus came to him. God's timing and ours are often quite different. And this is where faith comes in. Have that faith trusting in God's timing. He is closer to you than you think. Number three, and this is the last one, faith grows by, belie by believing God in spite of our circumstances, in spite of what we are facing in life. When we are facing a scary situation filled with fear, there are times that the circumstances, what we're facing is overwhelming in life. Sometimes it's not easy. There are times we struggle. But this past week, I learned a lesson myself. This past week, two ladies were standing right here, receiving the sacrament of the Holy Anointing. 
Two women deep in faith. Two women suffering from cancer. One of them already had cancer and it came back. Now she is suffering with pancreatic cancer. After I administer holy anointing to both of them, I had a short conversation with that one woman. And she told me, Father, I love the Lord. I love the Lord. He gives me strength. It may not be physical strength or healing at this time, but the Lord gives me strength to help my husband, to help my children, to help my grandchildren, and to love them during this time of my illness. You know, when I heard those words, I felt this small. My friends, that is faith that grows, rising above circumstances in life, <coughs> rising above personal struggles, whether they're health, finances, jobs, school, you name it. Faith that helps you rise above. Moving, this past week I saw moving from fear to faith. Are you scared, my friend? Yeah. <laughs> You're not alone. You're not alone. There are moments in life that I'm scared of. The man possessed in today's gospel reading, again, after his healing, we see him sitting at the feet of Christ. So today, and down the road, when you are scared, there's one place to be, sitting at the feet of Christ. Sitting at the feet of Christ with faith, because he cares for you, he cares for me. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. Let us.